So this week's the week, Modern Warfare 2's reveal week, and this means that there is going to be a lot that we're hearing about what's upcoming and even seeing it for ourselves. Today, I want to run down some of the key important details so that you're not missing a single bit of what it is over the course of the next few days. Talking about important dates, times, locations, and all to find all the information necessary and relating to Modern Warfare 2's reveal, but also to take some time and set up my expectations for what I'm anticipating and sharing that with you here. So as we go along, drive your thoughts down below. Firstly, what are you looking forward to in Modern Warfare 2's reveal and of course also let me know what would you like to see the most out of the reveal anything in regards to a particular weapon character map story point whatever the case drop your thoughts but if you enjoyed the video you're excited for modern warfare 2 at all do me a favor and drop a like on the video and if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button to stay updated with all things modern warfare 2 there's going to be a lot going on this week so make sure you're here for all of it and finally my friends over at gamer advantage are launching their new sustainability collection and in celebration code espresso is once again 20 percent off but only for 48 hours so if you'd like to invest in your vision health they're the best bet out there in my opinion, but more on them in a bit. However, let's said, let's jump into it. Firstly, let's talk about the current days, where we are right now, starting out on Monday. Now, today and yesterday, we ended up getting a few teasers talking about how many days out from the reveal we were. Yesterday, we ended up getting that three days out teaser, but you hear some audio in both of these that are pretty interesting. In the three days out one from yesterday, we had Laswell saying, I've tapped into a surveillance drone. Get in there as soon as you can. We may not have much time, John. With what sounds like Price saying, Bravo, stand by for contact. And then today, the two days out teaser, it actually showed a bit of gameplay. The first that we've seen here, you can't make out much, but it almost looks like the X-16 that we had in Modern Warfare 19, that one starting pistol that was in Warzone for quite some time, but you can't really be sure of it, just the way the distortion works and all. But then we also hear a voice that we don't have from Modern Warfare 2019, or at least to my recollection, but honestly, I don't know if I'm crazy. My first thought was, that sounds like Shepard. Like, I'm not crazy, right? We can't take him any wrong. He says, we can't take him in Iran, with a follow-up audio clip that sounds kind of like Ghost saying Alpha Team stays on board, but either way, both these teasers providing a bit of intel in regards to the story and what seems like some gameplay. Obviously, when this is published, we'll have one more to go as of tomorrow, my guess being that it's scheduled for exactly 24 hours away from that reveal at 10 a.m. Pacific time, so if you're at all interested in checking that out, let me check out the Call of Duty Twitter at that point, but that said, 24 hours out is the last one coming tomorrow, so that's when we can shift to what we can look out for later this week as well because Modern Warfare 2's official reveal is set for 10 a.m. Pacific time on June 8th, this upcoming Wednesday. So for conversions, that's 10 a.m. Pacific in Los Angeles, 1 p.m. Eastern for New York and the East Coast, 6 p.m. in the UK, 7 p.m. in other European locations like Berlin, 1 a.m. in Singapore, 2 a.m. in Tokyo and Seoul, South Korea, and 3 a.m. in Sydney, Australia. So Hopefully that can kind of accommodate some of the conversions here for you, if not entirely for you, or at least be close enough to be like, hey, I'm X hours ahead or behind of London or wherever we just mentioned. So if you really want to get ahead of things, though, you can actually already view the scheduled premiere on the Call of Duty YouTube account and even click to get notified when it begins. That page, it's already live. It's already up there. It's just a matter of it hitting 10 a.m. Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern. So as for what that reveal trailer will entail, that's where this now deviates a little bit into some speculation. Previous reveal trailers have predominantly been story and setting related stuff with maybe a stinger at the end giving some details about multiplayer teases and some stuff upcoming but the one that always stands out to my mind in recent years is that cold war trailer that showed a bit of gameplay for multiplayer on the map of satellite at the very end of the reveal trailer but we may see something like that we may not i'm expecting some sort of weapons hot type of trailer showing one for one a bit of conflict some campaign levels maybe maybe a bad guy or two and most of it though surrounding around that story and campaign as a story nerd, I'm entirely excited for that. I'm 100% on board with that. That's normally how things go. But one thing that I'm excited for as well is that I'd also expect, just like Modern Warfare 2019, the trailer to have this sort of disclaimer saying that it's actual in-game footage, not in-engine or anything like that, but instead captured specifically from PlayStation 5, likely because of the partnership with Sony. But with so much development on next generation consoles, this is really that first year for them to show off the capabilities of that hardware they've been building the game on. Even despite the leaks and rumors saying that last gen will be supported here with this it is something that this seems to be the case of it's built for the current or next gen however you want to look at it but it's going to be also ported back just not held back by the development of that now while not confirmed immediately following this trailer i'd also expect a few blog posts to go live detailing a bit about the world surrounding modern warfare 2 at this point where our heroes and villains go who they are and the conflict ahead just giving a bit of sort of world building around it at that point, also, I'd expect the game to become available for pre-purchase and pre-order for those keen on doing so. Honestly, unless you can't get a hold of a beta code, 
I personally don't see really any need in pre-ordering unless there's some really cool incentives for the current game. But to me, if you don't have hands-on time, I don't think you can accurately gauge what the game will feel like. So to me, I don't really ever care for pre-ordering, but those will likely go live shortly after as well. And as a result, we'll probably see those details in regards to the versions of the game confirmed and or denied. Right now, those being rumored to be the Standard Edition, Cross-Gen Edition, and that Vault Edition, with the Vault Edition being rumored to offer a ton of content both immediately in Modern Warfare 2019 and Warzone, as well as at launch for Modern Warfare 2. But we'll have to see if all that checks out, but that's basically Wednesday in a nutshell. It's going to be an absolute flood of information and reveals, so brace yourself for that. And of course, if you're new to the channel, I'd love to have you in the community to keep you up to date with all of it as it all happens on Wednesday. But then Thursday, that's when things get kind of a bit cooler, if you ask me, honestly. Yes, I'm very excited to see everything in regards to a reveal and all the information surrounding that, but Thursday looks to be our first look at unedited gameplay of Modern Warfare 2. While rumored for some time, it was officially confirmed by the official Summer Game Games Fest Twitter account recently in which they announced, see the world premiere gameplay level from Call of Duty. Hashtag Modern Warfare 2 during Summer Game Fest on June 9th at 11 a.m. Pacific Time, 2 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. GMT. So before anything else, the timing of that is 2 p.m. Eastern in the U.S., 7 p.m. in the U.K., 8 p.m. in Berlin, 2 a.m. in Singapore, 3 a.m. in Seoul, South Korea, and Tokyo, Japan, and 4 a.m. in Sydney, Australia, 25 hours after the reveal of Modern Warfare 2. This being streamed on the Summer Game Fest website, but also probably hosted on a number of different locations on YouTube and Twitch, though unlike the reveal trailer, none of those links are live just yet. The only thing in terms of timing is that right now, that usually lasts an hour or two maybe here with Summer Game Fest, but we don't have any specific time as to when the Modern Warfare portion will be going live. That's one game being showcased out of many here with this, so it might be something we wait five minutes, it might be something we wait 65 minutes. We just don't quite know at this point. Now, this is really cool because to my knowledge, I don't think that Modern Warfare 2019 had any sort of this immediate reveal for gameplay to the public. Looking back at my coverage of it to double check, it seemed like we saw gameplay only first when the alpha gameplay was kind of coming out with that. Full disclosure, we played Modern Warfare 2019's multiplayer in May of 2019, but we also saw multiple campaign missions at Infinity Ward Studio, but those campaign gameplays and such weren't public for a long while. I actually don't think until like August of 2019 or something like that, but we had seen Clean House and Hometown, those missions if my memory serves me correctly. But anyways, Black Ops Cold War got a cutscene shortly to follow after its reveal. Same thing with Vanguard, again, if I'm remembering correctly. But gameplay itself has been a bit more reserved in recent years, so to see gameplay and gameplay right away, I'm all for that. Now, I'm imagining it's more of a stealth mission of some kind, given the rumored theme for the missions here in the campaign overall. But what's really cool is that if these leaks are to be believed, this is going to be more in-depth than we may have anticipated. Normally, we'd see a few minutes of a short teaser gameplay or something like that, maybe like two or three minutes or so, just as a teaser and for the interest of time, as they say. But previous reporting from Ralph's Valve and Insider that we've talked about here and who's checked out on the channel plenty of times, he first reported the runtime for Modern Warfare 2's campaign gameplay showcase at Summer Games Fest was around four minutes. Then a few days later, he corrected himself, saying that it's entirely in-game footage, not just in-engine stuff or cutscene materials, but that the runtime was also bumped up to seven minutes. So seven full minutes of game play followed by a discussion from narrative leads at Infinity Ward? Hell to the yes. I'm excited for all of that to come. But after that, that's kind of when we start to see things die down, unfortunately, and where we kind of then coast back into the regular norm of the Call of Duty cycle. Season 4 is right around the corner here, that being the 22nd right now, if nothing is changed. So that's going to be something that's upcoming as well. But in terms of other Modern Warfare 2 reveals, gameplay and stuff like that, outside of Wednesday and Thursday, I'm not expecting much for a little bit. So that's where we're at here for the next 72 to 96 hours or so. There's a lot upcoming, but that's this week in a nutshell for Modern Warfare 2. So make sure you tune in so you don't miss a single bit of it. But before we go, again, a reminder to check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage who today just released their new sustainability collection, which is something that I absolutely love. And listen, I don't mean to sound like a hippie or anything, but we've only got one Earth and every step to help keep it alive is a good gesture in my books. The new sustainability line is the best of it all. The comfort, durability, and clinically proven effectiveness of the Gamer Advantage frames and lenses, as as well as being 100% recycled components used in them. When you're done with the box, the case, the pouch, and hopefully not the frames themselves for a long time, they're all entirely biodegradable. They launched three colors and three different frame sets, the Terra, Arbor, and Waldens. Myself, I'm thinking of getting the Terras, got to try them out for a bit, and I loved them, but if you're interested in investing in your vision health, combating that blue light that comes along with the daily grind of working on a PC, watching a ton of content, or just being on your phone constantly like myself, 
I highly suggest trying these new frames out. I'll always be transparent about it. These glasses are a little bit pricier than those $15 pairs you'd find on Amazon, but I swear to you, they are absolutely worth it. I've dealt with the effects of blue light for years, and not a single one of those pairs off Amazon, those cheapo ones, come anywhere close to Gamer Advantage. Not to mention, Gamer Advantage is clinically proven unlike a lot of those basic pairs on Amazon. So if you'd like to check them out and save big, Code Espresso is currently 20% off once again. Honestly, way quicker than I thought that we'd see a bump again, but only for 48 hours. So if you guys want the best savings, now is as best a time as any. So that said, if you're interested, head on over to the link in the description below to learn more. But that's also we're going to wrap it up. So I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. What do you want to see revealed here out of this week of Modern Warfare 2 reveals? Anything in particular? Weapon, map, character, campaign mission, whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Modern Warfare 2. We've got so much upcoming, so make sure you stick it here so you don't miss a single thing. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.